All right, gonna show you six different examples of Illuminati symbolism in Disney films. I chose the number six for a reason because six is the number of man. According to Revelation chapter 13, verse 18, it's the number of man. And 666, 666 is the number of the beast, the mark of the beast. It's the number of the Antichrist. And I'm gonna show you six different examples of full-on Illuminati symbolism inside of Disney films. You see, the Illuminati has not changed. The Jesuit ran Illuminati has not changed one bit. And here are the six examples I could find. There are probably m many others too. These are just the six best, one, six best ones I could find of full-on Illuminati symbolism in these little Disney films and cartoons. So here's the first picture. Uh, it's got Donald Dunk, Donald Duck, I think is what his name is, or some variation of him. And right in the background, there's a poster that says, Ask about Illuminati. Just right there blatantly open you know, but you may not notice it at first hand, but it goes into your subconscious. Ask about Illuminati, ask about Illuminati. And then you, of course, ask about the Illuminati because it's in your conscience. You see, the reason why there's subliminal messages is because they, they go into your conscience. You don't notice them at first hand, but your conscience notices them. Here's another picture of two different angles, two different angle shots showing the same poster where it says, ask about Illuminati, right there for your subconscious to see. Here is the next picture of a film called Treasure of the Lost Pyramid, where the uh, they're going over a pyramid, a pagan Egyptian pyramid, that has the Illuminati Eye of Horus, the all-seeing eye, right on top of it. So again, this Illuminati programming, which your kids will think, oh, it's just a fun little symbol. But again, it'll go into your subconscious, and you have that question again, like on the poster says, ask about Illuminati. You see, signs and symbols, they mean stuff. Signs and symbols for the, the Illuminati, for the Jesuits, for the Freemasons, they mean things. For the Luciferians, they mean things. They're not just little funny little logos and signs and, one, and little signs, you know, well, they seek after signs and wonders from the Antichrist, essentially. But they're not, they, they mean stuff. They're coded messages, I'll put it that way. Here's another picture of the Illuminati Eye of Horus in that same film, uh, Treasure of the Lost Pyramid. And then you got these pagan Egyptian essentially Masonic obelisks up there right on top of the Eye of Horus, the Illuminati Eye of Horus. Again, this subtle Illuminati symbolism in these kids' cartoons. Here's the next picture. I think this is from a Disney video game where uh, Goofy, I think is what his name is, the dog, Goofy, he lifts up a skateboard and then you have the all-seeing eye right in front of it with a crown on top of his head, kind of like the Antichrist in Revelation chapter, I believe it's chapter 6, he's got a crown on his head. Revelation 6-2 if I'm not mistaken. He has a crown on his head, and here you got the Illuminati all-seeing eye with the crown on his head. Subtle depiction of the Antichrist right there. But again, it slips into your con subconscious of your kids. You see, if you're an adult, you know, if you're like, you know, I'm an adult, you know, if I was a kid, I would, you know, if I, if I had done this back, if I had seen this stuff back when I was because when I was younger, I was a big Disney fan. If I had seen this stuff back when I was younger, when I was like 10 years old, that was when I was a big Disney fan, I would have never noticed it. But now that, that I'm an adult, you know, I can see yeah, the, the subtle messaging. But as a kid, it would have gone to my subconscious. But you got the picture of the Antichrist, the Illuminati One World Order, essentially the New World Order. And here is the final picture I'll show you of this uh, show on the Disney Channel where it has the Illuminati written right there in the background for your subconscious to see, for your subconscious to consume. And these are just a few examples of full-on Illuminati symbolism pictured in Disney films. The Illuminati, like I said, has not changed. It's still that same Illuminati that was started by the Jesuit order back in the, seven, I think it was 1776. The founder of the Illuminati was the Jesuit. He, he was a member of the Jesuit order. And the Illuminati, the Freemasons, they all go back to the Jesuits. And this is just, you know, many examples. There's other examples all throughout Hollywood, not just Disney, all throughout Hollywood of full-on Illuminati symbolism being portrayed in the films. Why? Because they're, su they're subtly putting it into your mind to prepare you for the Luciferian, you know, Jesuit ran New World Order of Revelation chapter 13 with the Antichrist as its head. Plain and simple. You best not watch Disney. You best not show your kids Disney because you're getting the subtle Illuminati symbolism going into your subconscious and the subconscious of your kids as well. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.